good afternoon students yesterday we created one web page tables dot html so uh, in this table in this table uh, we use the background color then uh, the background picture next topic that is very important if i want to merge two or more cells merging means combining them make them one okay then there are two concepts one is called row span and another is called cold span suppose the marks of row number 1 and row number 2 are same that is 80 okay so in that case we will have to merge these two cells the marks of row number 1 and marks of row number 2 marks are 81 clear so this is uh, because your merging is two uh, your cells are in two different rows this, this is called row span and uh, you can say if your spanning is your spanning is vertical okay it is called row span so i am now going to apply row spanning so what you will do here in marks in row number 1 here you will type row span equal to 2 because you want to merge two cells and you will marks marks will be 81 here but in sec uh, in the record of row number 2 you will not add td okay so it will be removed here from here it means in next row there will be only two cells in first there are three but in second there will be two cells so i am saving this and refreshing the page so here merging okay suppose i want to insert one more cell above row number name and marks in this i want to type uh, total uh, student detail okay and i want to merge three cells horizontally means different columns so it is called cold span clear so i am going to do here cold span i am going to insert one pr here and here p r o t h and cold span if i am using here only one ph that is students detail i close ph i save this and my cell is like this okay if i want to spend this so in normally i uh, in other rows there are three cells so i will have to merge this so here will be merging will be cold span if your merging is column wise means horizontally how many cells you want to merge three cells so any doubt in this bajender unmute yourself bajender
राघव तो दिस इज ए कंसेप्ट ऑफ रोज पैन एंड क्रॉस पैन If your merging is row wise, or you can say vertical, it is called row span. If your merging is column wise, or you can say horizontally, and that is called call span. So these are the two attribute of not a table tag, not a tr tag, but td or th. Td or th में हमें use करना है. इसको हमने टेबल में यूज नहीं करना टी आर में नहीं यूज करना नाउ नेक्स्ट इज नेक्स्ट एट्रीब्यूट ऑफ टेबल टैग इज is a uh, frame and rules okay so we are now going to discuss frames and rules so there are two tags one is called frame so it's not a tag but attribute another is called rules so these two attribute decide the visibility of different parts of a border if i want to control the outer border outer outline theek okay? hai outer means the outer border so we use frame attribute and if i want to control the inner outline theek okay, hai this then we will use which one rules attribute jab humne bahar ki taraf se uh the border ko control karna hai so you will use frame attribute or if, or if you want to control the border of in border from inside so you will use rules so frame ki jo values hai above below border box x sides lhs rhs void v sides okay these are the values which we can give in a frame attribute above above means we don't want to display only the above border this border border at the top right left and bottom border we don't want to display so here i am moving the background of a that page in order to more visibility so now i am using here frame is equal to above so here is at the top rest of uh, single because the size of border is large that's why uh, this is outer border ye jo andar ki taraf border hai ye theek hai above upar ki taraf aa raha hai right left and bottom mein nahi aayega theek hai if we are using here below
अब में नहीं आएगा राइट एंड लेफ्ट में नहीं आएगा बॉटम में आएगा बिलो दिस इज ओके नाउ इफ आई एम यूजिंग लेफ्ट हैंड साइड एल एच एस द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड only and if it is rhs right hand side top right left hand side and bottom there will be no any border then there are v sides means vertical sides two vertical sides So these are vertical sides. This one, this one. Top and bottom में नहीं, right and left में आएगा. There are x sides. So top and bottom. And if I am using here box. or border it will display all the lines okay and if you want to display if you don't want to display the outer border take void so there will be no outer border भूमिका क्लियर कंसेप्ट यस सर इज क्लियर ओके नाउ नेक्स्ट इज इफ आई वांट टू कंट्रोल द इंटरनल बॉर्डर्स देयर इज अ फ्रेम एट्रीब्यूट सॉरी रूल्स एट्रीब्यूट रूल्स इक्वल टू If I want to display all the internal border, use all. Okay, so so internal border visible over here. But if you want to use here, in case of all calls, only the columns lines will be visible. Means vertical lines, not horizontal lines. And if it is rows, so here is only rows lines. and next one is groups groups means all the lines oh, so no any lines sorry groups means no any line none again next is so these are the possible value of frame attribute so frame attribute possible values are all false rows none group
there are uh, some more tags which we can use in the tables these are called p head p foot and p body these tags are only for using for uh, making your rows grouping grouping of rows okay so we can apply the same feature in with the help of the p head suppose i may first two rows go table head banana hai aur uska bg color aapne de diya green और टू रोज के बाद आपने क्लोज कर दिया पी हेड को ये देख लेते दी बैकग्राउंड कलर ऑफ टू रोज चेंज ओके इन द सेम वे आपने रो नंबर वन ऑनवर्ड यू यूज हेयर you use p body and use bg color equal to blue and close zero at the end of your table the body okay it is a container tag okay it is of blue color here red color due to the bg color in the dash particular cell and in the same way we can use p head a uh, t bot a uh, t uh, here we discuss t foot sorry so if there are some cell you want to make as a footer okay otherwise all of these tags are used for grouping grouping of rows in order to apply same formatting feature raghavend sir so the next uh, topic that is very interesting and it is useful for making your project work because in project work the project created in term 1 you will have to modify it by applying the hyperlinks and css okay so now we are going to discuss the hyperlink Okay, now uh, I have one file that is table. Okay, now I am going to create another file where I will use your HTML head tag. in title main page head tag close body tag start here bg color equal to yellow then body tag close then html close 
I see this that page with the name main dot htm. So I open the web page. So I want that in this page, I will use here one word click here or इसके ऊपर क्लिक करने पे मेरा पास टेबल डॉट एस टी वन फाइल ओपन हो जाए दिस इज कॉल्ड हाइपर लेंस फॉर क्रिएटिंग हाइपर लेंस यू विल हैव टू यूज एंकर टैग टेबलोडी Full location. The reason is file is saved in the same folder. Then, after click here, close anchor tag. So anchor tag is a container. I am saving this. Okay, students. Uh, now I am going to display this uh, web page. Here. Click here. It is highlighted. When I place mouse here, it is uh, the mouse sign is converted into hand sign in place of arrow. It indicates this is a hyperlink. Okay. I click mouse. Yes. The table web page open. So this is called hyperlink. because we are opening the another file this is called which one in external hyperlink clear external hyperlink so we can say that there are different type of hyperlinks external hyperlinks internal hyperlinks then hyperlink with the email id so 
broadly we can say it is a two type of uh, then there is a third type of hyperlink that is called mixed hyperlink so basically these are of three types but we can also include memory uh, um, uh, the hyperlink with email id so there are three type of uh, hyperlinks external internal and uh, mixed Madam Clear? Okay. Now we use anchor tag. Inside the anchor tag, we use href attribute. It stands for hypertext reference. Okay. Here we will have to give the name of the file with location okay with a path i mean complete just like a picture of file to right click and get properties me ja sakte ho then we will copy the full location along with file and extension in the same way so anchor tag has following attribute href title name So these are the attributes of a anchor tag. Post in my web page. I am using here title equal to click here to open. table i am saving this okay beta when i place my mouse on the hyperlink there is one message click here to open tables so it is just like a tool tip just like a alt attribute of a image tag similar is here raga of concept is clear yes sir so here is attribute is title now uh there is a another type of uh, hyperlink that is called internal but remember one thing internal hyperlink is helpful when you have a very big web page and we want to scroll it quickly clear for fast scrolling we can use which one internal hyperlink so there will be no any hyperlink with any any external web page or web, uh, any document if we are linking with, uh, within the same web page but with a different section okay so for this i am going to create a insert some images here in order to make the web page large So three uh, images I am copying in my folder. Okay, and uh, I copy the file name. So here, source name of the file, first image. second image
third image no the web page is very large get the first picture the second picture then third picture so if i want to go to quickly at the bottom of your uh, my web page i am going to insert one hyperlink here first give the name of the location so at the bottom i am giving a name equal to new so this is the name of the section and how we can provide hyperlink with this so at, this is at the bottom of your, my web page so i am taking creating here hyperlink dr so change line a href equal to hash because it is an internal hyperlink new okay and then the word is go to end of web page then i close anchor tag i am saving this and refreshing the web page here is go to end of the web page i click here so quickly i go to the bottom of my web page so for internal hyperlink two tag uh, two uh, attributes are required two things are required first is declare hyperlink with uh, with href hash name of section and with the help of a name equal uh, you can give the name of the section okay students time is over now i am going to close the meeting thanks for attending the meeting